Hey guys, this is RK Coding here, and today we're going to be making a 3D engine in Python from scratch, and it should look like something like this. And you, by the end of the tutorial, you'll have a 3D engine, a spinning cube, and the potential to make more shapes. And what I'm really hoping to highlight in this video is this little black box or 3D projection algorithm that I stumbled upon. And basically, you pass in a parameter, and then what it does is it uses this really long math formula that I don't even understand, but I treat it as a black box, and it just projects the point in 3D space, and it makes it so much simpler, and it's really long, as you can see here. So, and um, you might be asking, oh, why? Why aren't you continuing your um, Discord bot series, right? You said you would continue it. And the reason for that is YouTube DL is down for some reason, and even I don't know why, but uh, join my Discord if you want more details than that, but I can't make a tutorial on until like that situation gets resolved. So, right now I'm just waiting to see if anything comes up. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I created a blank empty Python file. I'm going to go open it with uh, Visual Studio Code, because why not? And, voila, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Pygame for this. So first thing we're going to obviously do is import Pygame. So let's go import Pygame. Import Pi game, and we also need to go um, import math functions, right? And uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, from math. So I'm just gonna make put this on the top. From math, import sine and cos functions, right? And to make this easier, I'm gonna create a window class, right? And you can use this in any Pygame project, really. So let's create a window class, and first we're gonna go, we're gonna go init it with a self, a width, a height, and a title. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically initialize the self.width, initialize the self.height, and initialize the self.title, right? So let's initialize the self.title. Now what we need to do is we need to actually create the window, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a screen, and we're going to basically create a window of the width and height. And this is going to be the main rendering window for our 3D engine. And then what we need to do is we need to set the title of this, of course. So let's do bygame.display.subcaps and self.title. First, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define a key check function. And this is going to take in a key and it's going to check if that certain key is pressed. So, we're going to take a list of keys and uh, basically if a key is pressed, it will be added to this list of keys. And then we'll check if that specific key is in the list of keys. And if it is, we'll return true. Finally, what we need to do is we need to add an update function, which just updates the screen. And then what we're going to do is for basically every event in Pygame event.get, we're going to go check if that event is uh, uh, quit. And if it is quit, we're going to obviously close the window. And then the final step of the update function is just to update the display. So, so let's do that. So that is our window class done, and it's pretty simple, but it'll, be, it'll suffice. So next thing we need to do is we need to create our mesh class, right? And this is actually going to be the collection of 3D points that we can render in 3D. So a mesh is going to have a list of vertices, a list of edges between the vertices, an x-coordinate, a y-coordinate, a z-coordinate, 
and x, or basically rotation on the x, y, and z axis, and then finally a scale. So all we have to do is initialize these things. And basically that's all we do is just self dot first, et cetera, et cetera. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to go create a project and rotate function. And what's this going to, what's this going to, basically what this is going to do is it's going to, um, basically use the equation from earlier to basically find, convert the 3D point in that 2D space. So it'll take the X, Y, and Z of the points and then convert it into a single 2D X, Y point. X and Y point. So like I said, this is a lot of math, so, and even I don't know how it's working. Obviously, I'm not going to type it out, but I'll give you a hint. You can probably just paste it. And yeah, so paste that line of math and then paste this line of math or basically, and this stands for the projected x point and y point. That is weird. Okay, let's just do PY is equal to, and then this way you want formula. And finally, what we need to do is we need to return a tuple, because that is how a point is represented in Pi game. And points are always integers, we need to turn the value into an integer. And bam, we have basically the meat of our function done in three lines. The only thing left we have to do is do a render function. So def render self. And this is going to take in a window as in one of our window classes. And what it's going to do is it's going to fill the screen back. And then it's going to basically loop over all the vertices. It's going to draw a point. It's going to, we're going to basically draw a circle. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to get the point and basically we're going to project the 3D point into 2D space and we're going to store it on the point value point and then we're going to draw a circle on that projected point. So like that. And finally we need to draw the lines, of course. So we're gonna loop through all the edges. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna project the edges. So we're gonna create two points and that's where we're gonna draw the line between. And they're gonna be projected like this. So we're gonna project self.words at zero zero, self.words at zero one and so on, and then self.edge is 1, 0, 1, 1, and then 1, 2. So, and then finally we're going to draw a line between those two points. And this is a green, of course, so I'm doing it 255, 255. I'm passing in the screen parameter, and I'm passing in the radius and the width. So, and then this is that. That's all the code we need. Now finally all we need to do is like initialize classes so let's create a window let's create our mesh and we're gonna passion all the required parameters and if we look at it this right here 
this is a sorry let's look at this so this first list that ends right here is the verts and then this next list that follows is the edges right and finally we have uh, I believe the X rotation let me just actually recheck that we have uh, no we have the XY so this is the sorry this is the X position the Y position so we can see if this is in the center this is the Z position and then we have the rotation and finally the scale and now what we need to do is we need to actually render this right and make it spin so what we're going to do is we're going to while true we're going to basically rotate the cubes in all direction with 0, 0, 0.01 for the x-axis 0, 0.001 for the y, z axis and then just 0 0.01 for the y axis and then what we're going to do is we're going to do cube.render and of course we need to pass in our window and then finally we need to update the screen and then if we run that and hopefully we don't get any errors so uh name windows is not defined i think we just have one typo here so let's fix that typo the in object is not callable well where do i call it Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to copy it verbatim. So, and so this is the formula. So let's see if this fixes it. We have a 3D spinning cube, and make sure not to. I would just recommend copying this formula because it's quite big, and I and you can treat it as a magic black box. Basically, we're multiplying the x times the cos of the z rotation minus the sine of the you know z rotation times y times the cos sine, all this stuff, and it just happens to work. And you could apply this for anything, right? I just treat this as a magic black box that you can use to turn an XYZ point in 3D space to a 2D point. And you know, you have a perfectly fine spinning cube in 3D space. So that's this tutorial. Bye, and subscribe and like if you haven't already. And if you want to see more things, please leave a comment on what you want to see. And once the YouTube DL situation is resolved, I will be posting more Discord.py tutorials.